We see it. Okay, we can see it. All right, so you have a coder. All right, let's say a coder. And he writes a code. And when he writes that code, he puts it in his CPU. Okay, you guys know what a CPU is. All right, and inside the CPU, he tests his code. And he's like, okay, I'm going to test my code. And it's exciting. And you use the CPU, and you know, you use some RAM for that, of course. And uh, you're all excited. When you, when, you, when, you, when you think you're good, you can then go and you can then start your miner. Right away, right away. There is no, from code, fit the software, to the hardware, you could start a miner. Done, okay? Well, that's not where it ends. Next, we have the GPU market, right? So you'll see Bitcoin. Bitcoin was at CPU in the beginning. Everybody was using their CPUs to mine Bitcoin. So you could go from code to miner right from CPU. Code, CPU to miner, okay? That's so simple, right? Well, then somebody figured out to take the code, right, you know, and add a GPU. And what does that do? Well, of course, that uses CPU, and of course it uses RAM, right? Because it uses everything prior. And then, and then you got your miner. And you're like, oh, sweet, I'm miner. I'm mining, I'm mining on the GPU. Now that is, that is where we are at in the mainstream media right now. Uh, this is probably the past, typically. This would be past, this would be present, and then we're gonna talk about the future, okay? But let me show you just how serious we are about GPU. If you guys haven't seen this, I gotta show you. This is, this is what we mean. Do you see this? You see all those? What is that, like 300 something? I mean, yeah. it's, it's crazy, right? This is what the public is doing. That's right. And These they are have not proven, our machines. Say what? They're not our machines. No. And they've, the public has proven that this is what they're doing because this is where they're spending their money. This is what the public has spent their money on, is the GPUs, okay? So you can't say GPU mining is dead because it's not dead. Now, ASICs are all over the place. Everybody and their mother has an ASIC now, and, and everybody's trying to figure out what the heck ASIC is. Well, let, I'm gonna explain it in, a, in a, a little bit simpler term, okay? So after you have the GPU, you have what's called FPGA, okay? And this is just like the most intense board that you can think of. I should have brought it, it's like this. All right, here's the motherboard, okay? But you have all these slots on it, and you just like this little corner part has like everything you need. It has the CPUs, RAM, little cards, and all these attachments. They look crazy. Look them up online. They look crazy. The FPGA is now becoming a miner, right? Okay. But but this is only recently, right? This is this is not normal. Nobody nobody does this. I mean. August is the first time we're really going to see some serious FPGA miners out there. They're just not very uh, efficient uh, back five years ago, okay? But immediately after FPGA, you know, you get, a, you get a computer scientist and a coder. He wrote his code. It works on his CPU. The, everybody loved it. They adapted it into the GPU. And the GPU community, was, somebody was multimillionaire and said, I'm going to go find a, a coder scientist. So they find an FPGA guy who can program one, they build an FPGA board, and then they create an ASIC. It's that simple, right? So now you have ASIC, and that is now your miner, right? Okay, so can all of your ASIC boards run on your GPU? Yes. Can all of them run on CPU? Yes. However, is it efficient? No. It's not always efficient. Is it a good idea? If a coin is on CPU uh, and they create an ASIC for it, should you still use your CPU to mine it? Heck no. That would be stupid. You would never get any coins because this is tens of thousands more powerful than this would ever be. Um, and it's too late. The chances is too late. Nobody mines Bitcoin with their CPU, but they did. Nobody mines it with their GPU, but they did. Nobody mines it with an FPGA board. Maybe, but they did. And now everybody mines it with the ASIC. So this is a progression of where our society is at, right? So this is 2008, 
okay? Everybody had CPUs. GPUs, what do you say GPU? Probably 2000, probably 2010, 11, let's say 2011. GPU was really getting in serious. FPGA and ASIC was pretty, pretty soon after that. I mean, we're probably looking, looking at 2012, 2011, 2012. And uh, so now, future, right? 20, you know, 18, okay? We're, we're transitioning all to ASIC. So we're going code, okay? And then we're going to CPU, and then we're going to FPGA, and then we're going to ASIC. What's missing? We're missing the GPU market. It's gone. We're dead. We lost our GPU market. So that's 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 the progression that, that we see here. And that's that's what I'm excited about because the ASICs are taking over. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, look how small this is. Look how powerful this thing is. I mean, this is small unit. This is very small. I mean, I can hold it. I can hold it in my hand. See, it's pretty lightweight. I can move it around. I got two hands. I got one in the front and the back. And some of some of you, you see, you know, double stack. You see double stack. You see triple stack. This has got to get fixed. John, what what is this? What is going on here? This is terrible. It's like a big mess. Do you think the public wants to buy this? Not when it looks like that. No. No. Nobody wants to buy this. No, not the public. You got boards. What if I touch these boards? You know, what if I touch that? Oh, look, cool, right? No, 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 no. All this needs to be contained. All this needs to be in one unit, and we need to have it all enclosed. And when we enclose it all, and we have our power source, and we plug it in, and we're like, yes. And then we have our network, and we plug it in, and we have our fans, and all of this is enclosed, and you can't see it all. Then, then we're going to be happy with it. We're going to be happy with our, our product we purchased. So, huh, that is my little tangent about the future of ASICs. This is exciting. You better believe it is ASIC hosting. That, that's, this is serious. We've got, these are, of course, in-house photos, our yeah. A3s, our L3s. We've got They're our other ones. right over there. I mean, the Ivy Lakes, right? Yeah. I mean, these are physically here. I mean, you you guys saw them on the webcam. They're right there, literally, there, there they are. There they are. So, it's amazing. So, you can contact us for the ASIC because obviously you're gonna need to get your own private computer that we're gonna have for you. Um, we, we do static IPs for your ASICs. We obviously have set these up in the best cooling position. And uh, this is the future, so we're excited. If you're already with us, you already know about all this and you know it's not, it's, it's, you know the prices. So if you're not, this is exciting because we're supporting this. This is the Digital Gold Channel. We are so excited that you joined us. Thank you for coming to the stream. John, do you have anything in closing? No. Check out our website, digi.io, D-I-G-I-E-O.io. Sorry. Email us at info at digi.io if you have any questions. And thanks for tuning in, guys. To the boo!